Hey everyone, this is Seca here and you are in the broom closet for week number seven. And this week's question is, how do you view sacred texts and mythology? And this week I wanted to wear my new crazy floppy hat. I don't know how to wear this thing yet, or if I'm even pulling it off, but I think it's dope. Who uses the word dope? Hold on. Will this work? Look at that, now I'm like, Outback Jack. Okay, I really like this hat. Here we go. Okay, how do you view sacred texts and mythology? I love mythology and I think I first started to fall in love with it when I was still in grade school and I'm always, I've always been very drawn to the strong female archetypes. Hi, Odin. And so, um, you know, whether, <laughs> what are you doing? You're ruining the video. Hello! Whether it's um, mythological or, uh, since I was brought up Catholic, I really connected with Joan of Arc because she was like basically a badass for the Catholics. Don't you dare knock over my camera. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, God! Oh, good, you did it. So, Joan of Arc I always connected with, and I even picked her for my confirmation name. But, so, like, Athena and Freya, Frigg, um, you know, all these very, very strong female ideas and female um, characters I really connected with. And also, I guess i got to put that back so he's not jumping in the window. I don't use them in any of my practice, but I think that they are a great um, learning tool. So I, this is just my opinion, you know, I don't believe that um, these particular characters were walking here on this plane, on the same plane as we were, whether it's uh, Roman gods, Greek gods, Viking gods. Uh, but I do really connect with the lesson that they provide and their stories. He's coming back! Odin, don't knock it off! Okay. Just lay down. I named my cat Odin and the other cat Loki, so you can probably see where I connect <laughs> more and with what culture. I really find the Viking culture fascinating. And this just goes for mythology, using these archetypes as uh, lessons of learning. For an example, I know I mentioned, I think I mentioned this the other week, that uh, my little girl that I nanny and I were reading the story of Persephone. And for somebody who is so young, to have, um, you know, a physical male, female, mother, just in the story, you know, Persephone, Hades, um, and the mother, like to have that visual to kind of explain why the seasons change in that, in that aspect, I think is very eye opening, um, and mind opening. So she's gonna, she's going to, she's going to know that these people are not physically there, you know, that they are stories to help, um, get a bigger point across. And I feel that same way my incense smoke is going nuts. So that is my take on the mythology and sacred texts. I have never opened the Quran. I don't know anything about the Torah. I haven't used any of those in my practices. Um, you coming back? Just thinking about it. Do it. Come on. Good boy. There's dust everywhere. And um, I don't really use any sacred texts, like I said, for my practice. Um, I like to gather information from all over and just have a big melting pot of um, ideas and opinions and, um, you know, a little bit of fact thrown in there as well. But uh, I think that if that's your, if that's your bag, then um, that's awesome. If you have information or you feel that I need to learn more about the Torah or the Quran, 
because it'll better me, then I will listen to your opinion. But for me, I, I don't read the Bible anymore. I know I have one. Like I mentioned, I was sent a study Bible, and at the time, I was um, really interested to see what Scripture had to say. As far as sacred texts, they do not influence my... I'm playing with the smoke. I'm very distracted this morning. I think it's the hat. Is it the hat? So in a nutshell, I think that the myths and the folklore are such a powerful tool. It, even if you are an older person, if you're not, no longer a child, they are a great, um, a great way to wrap your mind around something that's bigger and that's a little harder to understand. So that is my answer for week number seven. I don't know how well this video is going to turn out, but thank you everybody for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.